Not since yesterday? Do you have any idea where I can reach him? Uh, listen, uh, Stuart, if Pierce does drive by the gallery, would you do me a favor? Would you ask him to give me a call? Thanks. I really do appreciate it. Bye-bye. Oh, well, it's just, you know, Stuart hasn't seen Pierce, neither has Aunt Phoebe, so... Well, you said he had a headache when he left, right? I mean, my mom used to get these monster migraines, and she'd be totally out of commission for days. Yeah, no. It's just, you know, I've never seen Pierce even take as much as an aspirin. So. Well, Kresler's doesn't sell foxglove and tannin root. I mean, Pierce used to make these uh, home remedies out of, you know, berries and herbs and stuff. That, that was how he saved Janet. So what are you thinking? He went up to Willow Lake and he's gathering birch bark? I don't know, maybe. Or maybe he just took your advice and went to go see a real doctor. Um, were, were there any calls for me while I was in the shower? Were you expecting a call from Scott? <laughs> After last night? Hardly. Honey, listen. People who love each other, they do two things. They fight, and then they make up. Yeah, well, I wouldn't blame Scott if he crossed me off his list for good. I'll see you later. Okay, listen, have a good one, okay? Hey, come in, come in. It's cold out there. Yeah. You know, you just, you just missed Laura. Well, I'm really here to see you, but I mean, if you're busy, I, I can no, go. No, no, sit down. Yeah. You want some juice? Juice, juice is good. <laughs> no, actually, you know what I was doing? I was just going online um, to check out my uh, horoscope. <laughs> oh, really? You believe in that stuff? Uh, there are some days I'd like to blame it on the planets, but... However, the fault, dear Brutus, lies not in the stars, but in ourselves, for we are underlings. There you go. Thanks. I can relate. <laughs> I know, um, I know what happened with you and Laura. I, I just haven't eaten, haven't slept. I, I... Scott, listen, if it's any consolation, Laura didn't sleep at all last night either. I don't get it. You know, it's I want Laura in my life. I want her to be part of it, including the stuff that goes on on campus. I and mean, whether it's cinema club, tailgate parties, just plain hanging out with my friends. And did I miss something? Did I did I mess up? No, Scott. It's not you. You remember when what Laura said on the, you know, the day of her formal adoption. Right. She said Pine Valley is a long way from. It's a long way from her old life. But that, I don't get it, because she made it. This is her home. Yes, you're, you're right. It is her home, because she has a roof over her head, and she has a family that loves her. But basically, Laura's been a loner her whole life. You know, it's, it's a long way to go from scrounging for your next meal to, to making small talk, you know, with kids on college campus. And I think in many ways, Laura's afraid. She's afraid that she's not going to fit in. Well, I, I, I keep trying to tell her, you know, we're all this army of walking misfits. Some of us get lucky and find each other. And, and when that happens, you can stop holding your breath, waiting for the cool squad to bust your chops. What I mean is, I can be me with Laura, and that's, and that's as cool as I need to be. So why, why can't she get that I like her the way she is? Why, why can't she see what I see in her? For everything that she has in common with your friends, she might as well be from another solar system. And I think that makes her feel like, you know, like she's at a disadvantage. Yeah, but that's not how I see her. I tell you, my friends, they can care less about Laura's past or where she's from. Or, or they wouldn't be my friends. Scott, Laura knows that you're going places, and I think she just cares about you so much that she's afraid She's not going to be able to go with you. She'll hold you back. She won't be able to fit into your new life. She is my life, or a major part of it. Doesn't she know that? Maybe you should just remind her. 
I try. I mean, I want her to feel safe with me and, and cared for. But sometimes it's like I'm banging my head against the brick wall. I think you will be so surprised at what is waiting for you behind that wall once it comes down. Don't give up on Laura, okay? Not in this lifetime. Well, I gotta run. Thanks for the juice and thanks for listening. Listen, anytime, Scott, really. Bye-bye. <laughs>